Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Always Legacy. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, uh, this place was driving me a little bit nuts. But hey, must persevere. <sighs> There's a reason why I never played VVV VVV. See, one of the funky things, though, about this is that. Besides the very awkward placement of some of the spikes, and the fact that the spikes no longer actually count as spikes for the sake of the spike protection spell. When I jump, I still have a little bit of that momentum that was in there before, so it's like... Um? Oh! Why did it jump so tiny? It was like the first time I actually made it in... <sighs> it, it, it's just like, it's very iffy with its own momentum of how the hell it actually wants... Sure. How it wants to work things, so... I'll have to pardon me that, uh... Oh, I get it. I dies keep. I die. It's a joke. Sure, whatever you insist, game. I'm now at your whim. Somehow I got the feeling that I'm actually supposed to be here a little bit later. Right there. Right there was what I'm talking about. I was mid-jump. And then suddenly it changes my gravity instantaneously with mo the momentum having changed completely. Mm-hmm. See, the balls of it seems to be that... Well, haha. Right, I need to be... Ah, uh, crap. Oh, just shoot me already. Thank you. Haha, uh -huh, jerk. I... <sighs> cool. You know what I dislike? Uh, games that make it so as you actually have to go to the very, very edge of every single platform. Okay. Right. Down. Up. Ha! Away from the edge that time. There we go. Save game. Because if I have to go through there again, I'm gonna break my controller in half. Which will actually... I want to tell post me to go back and have a still shot of that image. Of me getting hit there. But I feel like Postmate's not going to give a flying crap. Postmate is just going to be ever so done that he is not part of this part. I'm not even sure why the hell I'm bothering with this little bit. And boop. So down, get the key. The key should allow me to go through that door. Honestly, I, th I have no problem with this game. I honestly swear I do not. But my biggest problem problem with this game is the death counter. It's bad enough that I'm already kind of going, oh man, I'm going and dying a lot. 
when in all reality just having it there constantly ticking down is just like it feels terrible it feels absolutely bad how full of a Alright, so there's only one... Sure, why not? Already breaking the, a lot of other rules in this... <laughs> Sir? Kindly... Kindly die. Hope that counts as two hits. Okay, alright, alright, fine, 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 fine. I don't even know anymore. See, he stops whenever I get close enough. And he goes and does this shit. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't just teleport on top of me. I mean, he does teleport on top of me, but he doesn't teleport on top of me. I hate this... Go to hell! Holy shit! I'm starting to think that maybe this particular enemy was not programmed well. It's just a hunch. Because Jackass is teleporting right on top of me. Does whatever the hell this noise is. Um? Game? Would you... Sure, fine, whatever. Now nah, you win, game. You win. I'm angry. Look at me. I'm playing an angry game. I'll just do your stupid teleporting shit on top of me already. Why does he even have to bother with teleporting like that? Whatever. Sure. Fine. I'd say I'm, I've grown to accept it, but I've clearly not. Just this entire dungeon is a load of bullshit. How many times did the last one get hit? Four? Actually, wait. Okay. Okay. God. I mean, it's an interesting boss, but the problem is just it's, it's execution. It feels... The word I want to use is cheap. That's all I got. The, th the word I want to use for that particular enemy is cheap. Hmm. Because physics. So I need to bubble here. There we go. Not sure that was how it was supposed to go, but hell. I'll take the win. And save. I've already used the key, right? Yeah. Like, overall, this is not a bad dungeon. To say this is a bad dungeon would be to say that VVVVVV was a bad game.
And it's not a bad game. VV, as far as I know, VVV, VVV is a pretty, pretty interesting, if not fun game. It's just that, you know, platforming. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. <sighs> I want that. So how the hell am I supposed to get it? Not like that. Certainly not like that. Don't know why I'm surprised. Am I surprised? No, I'm not. Ticked. Piss off. Deciding whether or not I should break my own fingers. I think the thing that's pissing me off the most is that, again, game kind of breaks its own rules. I know what also people are thinking, oh, thorns aren't the same as spikes. Really? Are we, are we going to play the semantic game of thorns aren't the same as spikes? Because, um... Not gonna lie, that's a stupid argument if that's anyone's actual argument. Cool. Sure. Why does this one have so much range? I'm not supposed to be able to get that, am I? Nearly. I think what I'm supposed to do is go up that ladder. Down that ladder? Because I'd be up upside down. I don't know. Semantics. Ooh, look at me. I'm upside down. Ugh. And yes, this is me after I've taken a break from playing for a while. Okay. Let's go break that door. Where's the door go? Here. Okay, so not only is there a teardrop over there, I get it. I also just hate it. Oh, do are these do these break the its protection from spikes rules? Yes. So either I'm supposed to find an ability that makes it so as I'm going to not be affected by certain spikes or the brick that I lay down is not a, not affected by spikes. I don't know, I... I have fun with this game. It's a pretty damn good game, and I do enjoy being challenged and whatnot, but there's a difference between... Screw you. I feel like that the, this game is more... <sighs> bitch, bitch, moan, moan, bitch, bitch. Can I just come back to the start? there's just certain bits of this that it feels like oh you needed to already know that you couldn't that you can't jump on those spikes I don't know bitch bitch wanna bitch moan bitch bitch moan bitch this is how I'm feeling after I've had a little bit of a break Okay, so how am I- Oh, I- How am I supposed to do that?
Oh, wait. See, this is what those spikes have done to me. I see the spikes and I think to myself instantaneously, boy, I guess I can't go that way. Because I don't see them, you know... I'll, they're on the foreground and I'm thinking to myself, boy howdy, you can't pass that way, cool. Guess I die. And now I'm supposed to go back the way I came? To get reverse gravity? No, I think I'm just supposed to... Figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. No. Gravity. See, if they wanted to be funny about it, you'd have an NPC introducing it as a... I don't know. Going sideways or going topsy-turvy. At least then it would have been a little bit fun. Right now... Get a lot of anything but fun. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. We have fun with video games. Alright, so I have the key. Which allows me... I can't go that way. Boy, you think I get map lost before? How do you think I'm doing now that I have to go upside down half the time? Yes, I nearly just got hurt. What of it? Wait. Son of a... The longer I'm in this place, the more I'm getting ticked off, so that's one of the reasons why I decided to continue playing this tonight, on the same night of which I've already got. What the? How am I supposed to go? God damn it. Oh, come. Why don't enemies get topsy turvy? Seriously. See, I'm ticked at myself because I just focused so hard on the mechanics I didn't even think on the more practical way to do this shit. Alright, so how bullshit is this room gonna be? Uh huh. Okay, but he's in this. Sure. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's fine, game. It's fine. I don't even know why the hell I jumped there. I'm just like, screw this, I hate myself. I don't think it'd be anywhere near... Look at this, he's cornered me. There's no way I can avoid damage there. I go down here. What? No! Screw you, game! Oh my god. There. Alright, there was also a treasure chest that I can go back for.
At least I think that treasure chest should be open. If it's not, then... Frickin' I don't know. Okay. Seriously though, I want to know how the hell I'm supposed to get to some of these locations. I mean, I clearly need to fall into that particular rose petal. Any other form of getting there is just death. Yeah, no, seriously, how am I supposed to get over there? That's... Assuming that the rules of everything else of this game are true. Oh, for love of... Yes, I'm an idiot. Shut up. Well, no, because how am I supposed to do that? Because I can't go down there... This would be, you know, actually doable if this mattered at all anymore. Uh, yeah, I can't... I don't think it can get on top of it while it's breaking, so... So I guess that rose petal is currently dead to me. I think I was about to die there for a second again. Like the top of um, Zoe's head had hit the... Eh, whatever. It's not the button I meant to press. And yet somehow it still worked. I think one of the other things that ticks me off, though, is that it really didn't provide much of the way of instructions about how the hell I'm supposed to get through this place. And I don't mean like, oh, you're supposed to know that you're supposed to go up and down and left and right. It literally had provided me no information. I'm not going this way. Oh, I've been looking at the wrong freaking location. Uh, boss room. Yep. What am I trying to say? How am I supposed to open this now? Did, did the three thing? You know what? Fine. No treasure for me. Sure. Uh, let's go over a couple of them. Mm, maybe not. Were I a smart man, this dungeon level would have been done so long ago. Wait. What did I open? I don't even remember anymore. Just so frustrated with this entire place. I entered some big doors, so I kind of presumed that I needed to go where the big doors were. Yeah, okay. What's even supposed to be over here? Besides broken dreams of getting some of this crap. Okay. Upside Downsville. Sure. Do 
Boy, how do I love video games. Now let's draw, screw that boss room for a second. Oh, I see what I have to do, and I hate it. <clears throat> so... I'm supposed to... Okay. It's all about timing, and unfortunately, I don't think those things are, in are uh, consistent enough to consider timing. What are you gonna do, Dar? Well... I have to go down enough that I essentially have a nice little arc as I'm getting hit by the blue fireball to then land on the crumbling platform there. And then I guess the crumbling platform is supposed to bring me down far, either bring me down far enough to collect a drop. Or I'm supposed to get hit by yet another fireball as I'm falling. Too early, too late, I don't know, I don't care. All I know is that if I were to... Ah, so close. If I were to get that teardrop, I can put it basically somewhere in this dungeon, just so I don't have to traverse the dungeon. If I had suddenly decided to... return here for... Did... What? Where was the fireball? It opened its mouth, it shot something, I died. I hope everyone can see my conundrum here. Who knows, maybe I'm actually supposed to defeat I Die, which... I hate its name. Like, everything else is a reference. Screw you! <sighs> everything else is a reference. This one's just a, ah ha ha, get it? You're gonna die a lot in my bullshit dungeon. Okay, cool. It's one of those crum crumbly types of platforms. So, which means I gotta stay on it long enough and hope that the uh, aim of the blue flame is true. Ah. There we go. What was that, only like 10 deaths trying to get one freaking object? Cool, now I see where the bullshit mechanics are. See, that looks like a beholder. That's a heckin' beholder, look at this thing. Look at this thing! This thing reminds me of the one from Dragon's Dogma. Which, by the way, is an awesome game. Everyone should play it. Um... Oh, hey! It's actually got other mechanics. Oh hey, it's actually still uh, moving around. Entirely timing, which you know, it's 
a nice change of pace considering. Look at that, freaking proper beholder. That's amazing. Protector loomed over her, screeching as it strained the surroundings of all air. Zoe felt dizzy. Vicar's followers were providing him power. She had to bring this battle to an end before he grew too strong. Still doesn't answer all that too much, but all right. Was there anything? I mean, there's those lasers. I, I guess I was just kind of screwed up a lot by the fact that there's uh, just so much irritation with this place. Like, don't get me wrong. I think the dungeon itself is clever enough. It's just that some of the puzzles require more timing than it does actual, like, thinking, as it were. If that makes any sense. 77 secrets. 77% of the secrets, anyways. I really do wish that these, um... Book of Terra Incognita jewels actually felt like they did something. Alright, so the next boss is, what, just over the... Um, Village of Mila, I guess? I think I'll go down here... And make it... Uh, you know what? Hell, hell with it. We'll make it this one. Simply so I can remind myself... Oh, hey, yeah. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna leave this place. And, um... Pending... Whatever the hell the game throws at me as my, one of my next power-ups. Hopefully never see it again. Hmm. I suppose theoretically I could have gone... Actually, wait. I'm gonna regret doing this simply because I want to get out of this place, but... You know, I was enjoying the silence. Like, this is, this is some nice, dreary music. But I was really digging the silence. Okay, so I can't go through that way. can't go through that way. What I'm trying to do is get to a location that I can just... Yeah, here. Get to the locale where I can theoretically... Do I need a higher jump? See, what doesn't make sense is not being able to climb a ladder with this. Like, I get it. I'm upside down. Woo, that's funny. Ha ha. But, like, seriously. <sighs> it might just be some sort of ability that I need to grab. This way out, right? Thank crap it. Like, again, nothing inherently wrong with that particular dungeon. It was an alright dungeon, it's just that... A lot of, oh hey, here's a surprise sort of a thing thrown at me is just... Doesn't leave a very good feeling in my belly, as it were. It makes me not want to uh, bother with... 100%ing or anything like that. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, um, I have no goddamn clue. There's plenty of items all over the place that I can't seem to get, so I might just move on to one of the other places, or... 
I don't know, see about the Monk's Mire. See if there's anything I can do there to get that invaluable sounding treasure. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.